Hey, this is Ryan Hayden from Row and Table. We are a web design and development firm that specializes in Airtable. And in this video, we are gonna continue with the very basics. We're gonna make something that's really basic in this video. So I've signed in to a new team, I've given my team a name, and I've got all of these things here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these, okay? So just as simple as clicking this little arrow that pops up, and then clicking delete base and then they ask you to confirm. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this so I start with a completely blank slate. Just a few more here. All right, so what can we build that is really, really easy with Airtable? that's fairly useful, that just about everybody has a use for. Um, I thought an easy, super easy thing that just about everybody could use would be a, um, a to-do list. And so again, I clicked the start from scratch button. I don't know if you saw that. I clicked the start from scratch button. Actually, let me delete this and do that again. So I'm gonna click new base and it gives you options, start with template, import a spreadsheet, start from scratch. We'll go over that in future videos, but for now we're gonna click start from scratch and we're gonna call this one to-do list. Now, we've got all kinds of options here. Um, we can change the color with these color options here and they give us a bunch of ones that we can choose. I'm gonna go with this gray color. And then if you scroll through this section here, there's all kinds of icons that you can choose uh, for your base and I'm gonna choose back up the top there was one that looks like a check that's appropriate for a to-do list okay and so that's all we have to do to create the base uh, I'm gonna click on this icon to get into the base and uh, kind of go over some of this stuff right here now it's gonna give us this little tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and click that and click got it here we're not gonna go through that um, but let me just sort of explain what's going on here, okay? So everything in Airtable starts as a table, and uh, it's a, a grid view. It looks like a spreadsheet, and uh, you'll notice that there's these headings across, um, and these are the data types for your spreadsheet, for your table, and then each record in database speak is a row in your table, all right? And so... If we wanted to say build a to-do list, so let's go ahead and rename this table to-dos, okay? And um, what we could do is we could give the to-do, this first key is important here, this first uh, row or column is important because this is our sort of the organizing thing here. And so let's, um, let's call this, let's, let's click customize field type and let's change this name to date, okay? Uh, yeah, let's do date, okay? So we're gonna click date, and then down here there's this option where it says single line text now, but we're gonna click on it and we're gonna choose date. You can see there's all kinds of options. We'll go over some of these here in the future. So we're gonna click that, and we're also gonna include a time field. Uh, so we're gonna click save. So we've got date as our main thing there. Now, what else do we need? We need uh, to have a new field that has like basically a title for this to-do app or, or, or task, I guess we would use. So we're gonna click on the arrow up here and we're gonna choose insert left and we're gonna call this task. And single line task is, ta text is fine. We don't want this to be long, okay? And then notes is already here. And you'll notice notes has a different icon than task because the field type for notes is long text, which means it can take all kinds of text, okay? Um, what else would we want? Attachments, that's perfect, okay? We'll put attachments in there. Um, and uh, well, we want some way to check if this is done or not. And there's a couple ways to do that. The, the Probably the most obvious thing would be to have something called done and click on this and choose a checkbox. And what that would do is it would give you this checkbox in here where you could just click done, all right? That's the obvious thing. But I'm gonna show you something different and you'll see why in a second. So I'm gonna click the plus button and I'm going to call this one status. 
And instead of choosing a checkbox or choosing single line text, what we're gonna choose is we're gonna choose single select, okay? And um, we're gonna give it some options. So we're gonna be, uh, you know, not started yet. In progress, you know, waiting on, and then done. So we got four options here, okay? What else might we want? A useful piece of information for our to-do list. How about someone that we're working with? So we'll call collaborators and we'll click on this collaborator field and we're going to click save okay so somebody that we're working with um, this field is a special field that takes email addresses and it will show you know if you put in someone's email address it will send uh, a note that they're working on that with you um, and one other thing let's say projects okay so we're just going to call this one project so we can organize these by projects. That is a pretty good, uh, if I must say so myself, that is a pretty good task thing. Now, you might not like the idea of entering your tasks into a uh, field like this, uh, like, a, like a spreadsheet, maybe you want a different view. Well, if you click on this little arrow, if you notice when you go on this, in the very far left, there's this little arrow at the beginning of each row. If you click on that, it's gonna expand something that's more like a up and down table view where you can put your information. So if I click this today button here, it's going to put the time right now. I'll give this task a name, you know, finish or I'll say edit uh, Airtable video. I'll, I don't have any notes. I don't have any attachments. The status, let's say in progress, collaborators. I don't have any collaborators. And let's say Airtable videos is my project all right now i'm going to show you some things here that are just amazing like these things that just boom blow your mind okay first thing is right now we're looking at the grid view but if we change from grid view and we add what's called a kanban view i want you to see what's going to happen here this is awesome all right i'm going to click status it's going to say choose your grouping field we're going to click status and done so now what I have, and by the way, let me go back into my grid and delete these two empty ones. So if you click on this, on the far left, there's these uh, numbers, and you click on the numbers, it gives it a checkbox. We're gonna click delete. Okay, if I go click on the grid view and I click Kanban, now I have like a Trello type thing where I can have uncategorized tasks over here. So let's say I'm gonna add a new task, new record, and I'll put today, and I'll say, um, you know, uh, more stuff, okay? Just, it's dumb, all right? It's uncategorized, I can click and I can drag it to its status. So I can have a whole list of different tasks on a project, and I can drag them, uh, you know, edit Airtable video, I can, I can drag that to done when I'm finished. And when I go back to my grid view, now the status is done. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Let me show you something else, okay? So right now we just have this one table, but you'll notice there's the option for more tables. Let me show you what you can do. I've already entered data over here for project, Airtable videos. If I click on this little arrow here, and I click customize field type, and right now it's single line text, I'm gonna click on single line text and I'm going to choose, um, let's see here, link to another record. And we're gonna click create a new table. Watch what happens. Save, okay, boom. Now what I have is I have project table and it automatically pulled the data. If there was 100 things in this project table, it would make 100 projects in this, and it linked the two tables together. So this is becoming an even more powerful to-do list manager here that I'm just throwing together, literally making it up as I go along. Um, you can imagine all the stuff that you can do this. Now, we've got a grid view, we've got a Kanban view, we can switch to a calendar view and create a calendar view. And now we can look at a calendar of all of our upcoming events. If we had a, 
a due date, we could actually go back. That would be a ter terrific thing to add. So let's go back into our thing here. Let's add a insert to the right. We're gonna call this one due date. We're just due. We'll choose the uh, date field. We're gonna choose, um, yeah. We don't need a uh, time for this one. We'll just do that, okay? And let's say this one is due tomorrow. This one is due on Friday, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to that calendar and we're, it says using date field, we're gonna switch to the due field, done. And now I can look and I can see when I have, when my tasks are due. Super cool, all right? You could imagine how powerful this is. This is just one option. I'm gonna be showing you stuff all the time. We really have barely scratched the surface here of what you can do with Airtable. And uh, it's just a super, super handy, powerful app. So we are row and table. This is what we do. We actually take uh, Airtable and we can build applications with it, uh, integrate the data into websites, do all kinds of cool stuff. Check us out at rowandtable.com and subscribe to this if you like this and you want to see more tutorial videos.